Hi everyone, everybody. Nice to meet you again on Wednesday afternoon. It's Marcus time. Today we are going to talk about how to create your own vision for trading success, including such questions like what do you what does success mean to you? not for the other people around of you. How do you want to trading to affect your life? And of course, creating your own vision of success. That's the topics for today. And um, I make sure that you stay online until the end of this webinar when we'll be showing the, how you can create your own trading success and getting a kind of spirit, uh, spirituality. My name is Marcus Gabel. I'm a professional analyst, speaker, trading and life coach. And of sure, I'm a real trader and I've been trading low markets for over 22 years right now. More information about myself, you will find on my homepage. You can see it here on the slide. Lance, welcome to everybody again. In this uh, trading, in this webinar series, Trading Spotlight, I'm partnering uh, with Edmund Market, which is a Forex broker and CFD broker that offers trading uh, on over 8,000 different financial instruments through one of the world's best trading platforms, MetaTrader 5. And finally, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to like this video, share it with other traders, and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. So with this introduction words, let's come to the special topic for today. The crucial point in this webinar, and I really appreciate that, that you spend your lifetime this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are around the world with me, I appreciate it really a lot because you know, like our lifetime is limited and it's my job to fulfill this next 45 minutes as well as possible for you that you can use it for your own trading and life success as well. And the crucial point in this webinar is we talk about visions and a little bit kind of spirituality because everybody must be aware that for trading success, you need a business plan. You need a well-working strategy. You need risk. You need to be a really, a really good, um, how should I say, risk manager. That's the very foundation of every kind of trading. But more than that, you must know what is real success. What is the meaning of real success? And before we talk about real success of trading, we should ask some questions about, uh, we should ask some questions to yourself, to ourselves. And let me give you a little bit of advice for the next 40, around 45 minutes. You have two options. You can listen to me, you can read the slides, and then you can repeat, repeat it a little bit later on YouTube if you want. But uh, how often do we forget to repeat the content? So if I may give you an answer or an advice, take a pen, take a paper and write it down what is important for you. In all of that slides, I want to show you because not everything is important for everybody. So pick up what is important for you. And don't forget how our mind is working, how our brain is working. You should know behind your eyes, there are placed so-called neuron, uh, mirror neurons. So everything you see, you hear, or you do, come back to your ears and to your eyes, and they are mirrored by this mirror neurons. So if you see what I show you, if you hear what I tell you, it's one thing. But at that moment, you have a pen in your fingers, in your hands, and a paper in front of you. And you write down what you learn, what you will learn here in this webinar, what you see and what you hear, and, and you write it down, you see the second time. And this one repeating has a huge impact what is in your mind afterwards. So it's just only 
uh, human advice for you. So it's better. And if you make some special points, one word, two words in every slide that you can read, that you can figure out what is important for you. So start with the question, what does success mean to you? And this is an interesting question. Let me, let me ask you this one. Why did you start trading? Why did you start trading? Not all the other guys here in this webinar or around the world. The question is, and if you want, type it in the chat box so I can see it on my right side, the right screen here. Why did you start trading? Was it make money, making money? Was it for the excitement or a little bit for the thrill? What's what, what was the reason once you start with trading? The real reason. And uh, uh, let me guess it was money. Because if I look back to my OG trading career, very a couple of years ago, I started, of course, I wanted to make money. Or was it another one? Was to become more successful than you have ever been? I don't know what kind of life do you have or where do you live right now? Europe, Asia, Africa, wherever. I don't know. Maybe you have a normal job. Maybe you have a well-working family or friends. But is it that you only be a part of your surrounding? Or it be, uh, is it that you are the star of your family? Are you the hero of your friends? Oh, if you are, is it so that you that you are only just a friend? Maybe you wanted to start trading once because you have the wish or the vision you want to become more successful, that you rise up in the view of our friends or your family. Don't underestimate this point. A lot of guys started their trading making money of course but then to rise in the view or at the getting ap appreciate a little bit more in the surrounding of the friends or family so what's the, what's the answer what means success for you and maybe you should open the edge, the border between your mind and between your heart. Maybe your mind says, oh, I want to make money. But did you ever listen to your heart? Are you, are you able to listen to your heart at all? I know it by my own experience. In the beginning, the first four or five years, oh, three, four or five years, uh, I was working only with my mind. I have forgotten how my heart is working and what I really feel. So I was only focused on money and some other stupid things. But I've forgotten what I want as Marcus. So did you ever hurt your heart? What do you really want? And Maybe you make money. What do you want to do with that money? So you see, it's not depending from any strategy or indicator or oscillator or something else. What does success mean to you? And this is really difficult. It's difficult to define why success means something different to everyone. So maybe I see some names here and uh, I hope you can forget me if I ask them. So maybe Nia still wants to become making money or to become successful in trading because she wants to make more money or he wants to make more money. I don't know right now. So Plumman, my friend, he's in coaching uh, with me. He wants to make money and wants to become sex for successful in his life, for example, more and want to reach more goals in his life. So you see, success means different things to everybody or to everyone. What does it mean for you? Maybe this is a good time, paper, uh, sorry, pen and paper, 
And maybe it's a good thing or a good advice that you write down right now, what's the first thought you have in your mind when I ask you what means success for you? So I give, I give you 30 seconds right now. Write it down. Maybe it helps you close your eyes a little bit, just only for seconds. Listen to your heart. What means success for you? Maybe one word, write it down. It's interesting. If you think about it, more than 30 seconds, Believe me, I'm engaged in this trading uh, industry since more than 22 years right now. But if you need to think about more than 30 seconds, what success means for you, you have a long way to go, believe me. Because then you miss the real why. But let's go a little bit on that you can understand what I want to explain. So some questions to think about if you want to figure out the meaning of success for you. So I want to bring you a little bit on track. Again, in this webinar, it must be clear for every trader, it's, uh, it's necessary to have a well-working strategy with a profit factor more than one. That's normal, that's okay, that's fine. And that you need to be a good risk manager, that's very foundational in trading. That you need to find your markets, your time frame, for example, that must be clear if you want to become successful in trading. But now we must talk about other things. Because would it be so easy trading? we won't have this huge percent numbers of 76% of people they fail in trading. And of course, most of the traders know how does a trend works. And most of the traders know how does indicators work. But what, what, what's the real reason behind that? So many people fail in trading. That's the reason why I create this slides and this webinar to think about the real reason how you can become successful in trading. And believe me, it's not depending from a strategy because there exists a lot of almost uncountable and limitless strategies outside there to become successful in trading. But this is only the smallest part in trading. The huge part is that what we are talking today. Does success mean making a lot of money for you? What is a lot of money? Did you ever think about that? Once you created your, web, your, your account and once you deposit your account, did you ever think about it? How much money you wanted to make? If I ask you right now, write down a number. How much money do you want to make? Would you be able to do that during next 10 seconds? If not, it's an interesting question. Why? What is your focus? What's the point you are focused on? What is kind lot of money? Let me explain. I'm a German guy. 200 euros here in Germany. For me, it's a lot of money. But in just kind of relation, how much I have to pay for my rent or for my car or something else, it's not really much money. But maybe if you're living in Asia or in Eastern Europe, or maybe you are living in Africa, too, 100 euros means that you can care for your whole family at least one month. So you see, the meaning of lot of money has different meanings to everyone. What does it mean for you? 
Or maybe what means, what is the real meaning of success for you? Do you want to have a better standing among your family or friends? Or they try to explain what's the standing among your friends? Are you still a friend? Or are you the hero? Do you care for all your friends? Do you care for all your family members? What's the standing there? So maybe the guy is thinking, ah, oh, here's Marcus. Ah, oh, okay, forget it. It's a part of my family. It's part of my clan or my friends. It's, but um, yes, he is there. You know what I mean? Marcus is there. Maybe you want to become better friends. And you, once you hope, if you start with trading and uh, you become successful in trading, you can show it to your family, you can show it to your friends, and then you have real better standing and maybe you and then you are the hero and you, you, you are the star of your family. So again, quick experience, uh, a quick example or quick... Um, Yes, I missed the word. Close your eyes and feel it just for a couple of seconds. What does it mean if everybody would see you are a star and you are the hero? Just only a quick exercise. Close your eyes, just 10 seconds and feel it just a little bit. How would it feel for you if you are the star of your friends and your family. Does it feel good? I guess it does. Interesting, right? Do you want to get more respect or appreciation? Or appreciation? Is or was that the reason you started with trading? I don't know your surrounding and your environment you're living at the moment, but we know all the behavior around the world. And so we have around the world a great lack of disrespect. And we have a great lack of appreciation, of course. But maybe you hoped if you trade and if you become successful in trading, you get more respect or appreciation. Do you want to achieve more spiritual goals like the inner freedom or to find your inner center? And at this, at this point, let me ask you one question. I know guys, this is not a normal topic. And maybe you expected completely different webinars if you want, if you watch webinars about trading but believe me, guys, I'm engaged in more than 22 years in trading right now. And I can promise you, strategy is the smallest part for trading success. This, what I'm trying to explain you in this webinars, this is 90% of trading success. So maybe please listen to me. And maybe you have a soft and quiet surrounding right now, please close your eyes again and think about the one question. Are you happy right now? What you can write down if I ask you that, are you really happy right now? Really happy. Not what is the, not that kind of happiness your mind is trying to talk to. Yes, I'm happy. No, if you feel it. Or do you have all this experience and trading in your back, which is like, a, uh, it's just like, a, um, should I say, some weight on your shoulders and which brings you completely out of yourself. What you can, would you say from the bottom of your heart, you are happy right now, really happy. Would you say you feel real inner freedom? And would you say right now, you are in your inner center right now? Or do you feel all that pressure of life? 
all the pressure of, um, how to say, responsibilities, all the pressure of losses, all the pressure of strategies and something else. If you feel more like that, then you are not in your inner center. And then you cannot become successful, neither in life nor in trading. And I know yesterday I had a great coaching and uh, with a wonderful guy. And he said to me, Marcus, I come to trading because I was looking for freedom. So you know the song, I'm looking for freedom, more freedom to get my notebook, to spend a lot of time with my kids or with my family and make a little bit uh, trading on beside and something else. That was my kind of freedom. But now I'm sitting in front of this damn PC and screens for hours and hours and hours. And I, and I asked the guy, so where is your freedom right now? And he said, I lost. I lost that small freedom I had before I come to trading. I'm completely out of myself. I feel no kind of freedom. And this is really important. Financial freedom and inner freedom, like this kind of spirituality. This is absolutely necessary if you want to become successful in trading. And if you have the chance to talk about some great traders around the world, real leaders in trading. And if you won't ask them about inner freedom, everybody would tell you spirituality is a big part of trading success. Spirituality is not what that a kind of meaning what the public means, like uh, thinking on heaven or something else. No. It's a kind of awareness of myself. This is kind of spirituality. How do you feel if you sit in front of your screens? Again, what is the real meaning of success for you? Money, better standing from among your friends or family, more respect or appreciation, or a little bit spiritual goals like inner freedom, or you want to come back to your inner center. So what, what's your meal? Can you write it down? Do it, you don't do it for me. Please do it for you. Because I guess you spent your lifetime with three right now because you want to figure out, you want to have some answers. You feel in your heart, you feel you can, you think about it. And maybe you stick uh, actually in a point you, cannot go on. There's no processing in your trading right now. So that's the point why I am talking about this very, very interesting uh, point. And I know less people, less people, not only traders, really less people think about that points. When talking about success, we should ask ourselves, so is it impossible to become financially successful and maintain our spirituality? Is it absolutely impossible? The public meaning is always the same. Either you are financially free or you are a great leader and you, are, uh, you have big financial success or you are a spiritual guy. Most of the people never would think about it. There, can, there could be a combination of it. Either you have great success in your life and you are the big leader, you are the star, or you know the other one, they wear green shorts, green trousers and so on. And they're living in uh, special houses. They're kind of spiritualities. And so, no, forget it. Wrong meaning. Is it possible? to combine it? And why do we talk about spirituality in trading at all? The answer is really, really simple. After a while, you are engaged in trading, you figure out that trading is not as easy as you thought. 
So why I can say that so exactly? Believe me, no one of you, unless you love me. That's another point, <laughs> just a joke, just kidding. But if you would be successful in your life and in your trading, I swear you would never spend your time on Wednesday afternoon with me. Let you be a part and a member of this webinar today shows me you are still looking for success and any kind of way how you can become successful. And I appreciate it a lot that you spend your lifetime with me. So, and you see in my back, there is the hourglass. And you know, our lifetime is very limited. So that's the point why we must talk about such things like strategies. And you can all watch the, all the other webinars I made and Paul made and Jens made. And but this is a little bit my part to bring you behind the scenes of trading. That's a little bit my part. And I guess you made this experience already that trading is not as easy as you thought once you started with trading. And I'm a real trader as well. I'm a trader at the asset man management, born Starbeck and partner in Switzerland, Tokyo and, and Germany. I have, I made lovely coachings with all my wonderful clients and I have a lot of webinars and I started in the same way. I come to trading because I wanted to have more money and I wanted to become free from my normal uh, job because as an employee and I don't want to have a boss anymore. I hate my boss. So that was my kind of uh, meaning of success. I wanted to make money to become free. But after a while, I lost too much money. There was, more, there was no more freedom or success, of course. So maybe you are in the same stage right now. You figure out that trading is not as easy as you thought. So what to do now? We must talk about life goals or financial goals. Or is it possible to combine both things? After your first trades, especially losses, you, feel, you will figure out that you must change your mindset. The way you used to think in your life and the way you act in your life doesn't work in trading anymore. Let's talk about one example. And you know, there exists a lot of thousands of examples outside there. You learn a new, you learn something new, language, job, hobby, whatever, maybe surfing or like me, I wanted to, to, to learn English and I guess I, can, I speak English a little bit and I hope you can understand me. So then it's always the same, you become an expert and normally you get the same positive results always. And the more you do it, the better you become. That's the point. That's the way how we become successful in what we are doing outside of trading, a job or a hobby or a language. So let's talk about this English, English language. I'm a German guy and I guess you can hear it. Sometimes I miss a word. Sometimes my grammar is not the right one. So, but I guess you can understand what I'm trying to say. And the often or the more I, I talk in English, the better I become in speaking English. But it takes time. No one speaks English after one day, or Chinese, or an African dialect, or an Asian dialect, or something else. No one, no one. It's not possible. Or maybe your job. You become an expert after a while, and then you know your job, you do always the same and you get always the same result, always. Once you don't get this, uh, uh, this, uh, the result, a positive result, then you know, oh, I made a mistake in the past. 
you go back, don't think about it, fix it, and then you get the positive result. Isn't it? Would you, would you agree with me if I say that's the way we used to think and act in our life? I guess most of you would say, yes, that's the way how I live and how can I cope my challenges in trading. And then you come to trading and you used to do the same in trading. You learn your strategy. I hope you have one. You stick to the rules. I hope you are able to stick to your rules. Then you do the same things always, but you get different results, even losses. It's not in that way that you can stick to the rules in your strategy and you know you will get a positive result. That's really confusing. It's completely confusing because it's the completely different from what I am doing in my life. If I stop at the red signal with my car, it's fine, I won't get a ticket. If I cross the street in a red signal and the police, uh, the officer is standing outside there, I get a ticket. I know that before I do something. And then with this kind of thing, you come to trading, you see your strategy, you see your signals, you push the button, you're in but you don't know about the result. You don't know. And the worst case, you get a loss. Is it confusing? Is it? I guess it is. So that's the point why it's not depending from your strategy. And now here we are, the confusing raises a number of questions such why the heck I start with trading at all. Why I started with trading at all. Why? That's the first why. Of course, you wanted to make money, but you haven't made as much as money as you wanted, right? right? Otherwise, I guess you wouldn't attend and join this webinar. If you made thousands of dollars and huge and a lot of money. I guess you would spend your time with your kiddies or family or friends outside there. Isn't it? I guess I wouldn't do it. I would do it in that way. But so it's my mission to give you some examples and to give you some clear advices how you become financial free freedom and spiritual freedom, of course. Of course, maybe you have the experience right now, you lose money more than that. You lose more than you won. Hmm. Even worse, it could have the opposite result where you lose money. Did you lose more money than you won? It's not so easy to say, right? But um, I guess you must confess it's hard. It's really, really hard to make money. Now you know why we have such a huge industry in trading. Because it's always more easily to make money with the trading at, uh, uh, with, ex with advertisement than making money with trading. Because for making money with trading, you must change yourself. If you had some life or spiritual goals like finding your inner center or getting inner freedom, you must confess that trading takes you completely out of yourself. It brings you at the edge of your own comfort zone because you are confused, you feel anger, you are rude to yourself. I'm such an idiot. Why cannot stick to my rules? Believe me, there is my diary, my trading diary, and it's full, it's full of bad words. I cannot mention this webinar. It's full of bad words to myself. I'm such an idiot and more German words I cannot translate here in this webinar. 
And sometimes you are rude to your family and your friends, to your kids. They want that. Do you have time for me to play? And I said, no, I have to trade right now. Go away. Shut up. You remember? Sometimes it happens in that way. Maybe not always, but I guess you feel a little bit what I try to explain. Once you recognize that trading is a serious pursuit, a small insight in your subconscious consciousness will rise. I must change my mindset, which means, I'm, which means I must change myself. As you figure out, it's not possible to do the same I do in my, in my life, to repeat it or to transfer it exactly to trading. It is not possible. And if you reach that point, you start to ask different questions like, what the heck, why I'm here? And what is the purpose of my existence? What is the meaning of my trading? And what is the meaning of my life? Did you ever ask that by yourself? What is the purpose of your existence? Really, you have only this one life. Do you really sp spend the rest of your life with watching green and red candles? Really? Do you want to go back and see, oh, my kiddies are so growing up right now. I missed it. Hmm. Please think about that point. What is the purpose of your existence? Why are you here on this wonderful, amazing planet? And what is the meaning of trading? How does it fit in your life? And what is the meaning of your life? Did you ever ask that yourself? Why should you ask such questions? That's the point. If you don't have a huge account you cannot trade with, you can trade with, you realize that it's not possible to make a lot of money, like what you expected when you start in trading. Maybe you were able to double it once a time. If you are a lucky guy, you can double it twice a time. But if it would be so possible, all of us were rich already. But it isn't the case right now. You realize that you spend a lot of hours and times in front of the screens without achieving the goals you wanted to achieve. The kind of knowledge helps you look behind the scenes of trading. Trading is a question, it's a game of probabilities, no more, no less. There are no safeties, no guarantees for your trading. And if you realize that you start to ask yourself, why the heck should I continue with trading? Why? If I cannot make money consistently, if I lose more money than I win, why the heck should I continue with trading? And let me ask you this question at that point. If I would force you right now to stop with trading at that point, close your account, never watch a trade, never watch a, a chart anymore in the next three months, would you be able to do that? Wouldn't you? Would you be able to stop with trading right now? If not, then you are addicted to trading. If not, then we have a long road to go. And if you lose more money than you win, you must ask yourself, why should I continue with trading? But based on my experience after more than 22 years right now, I have very good, good news for you. It's worth, absolutely worth to continue with trading. Even you don't get rich quickly. You cannot get rich rich quickly with trading. It's not possible. Otherwise, all the traders would do it. If you would learn it, if you could learn it, but it is not possible, you know? Probabilities, no, no more, no less. Real trading opens your mind to the real important things in your life, your health, your family, and your friends. After you realize that it is not possible to become rich quickly with a small account, at that moment, you start to accept the inevitable. There, there isn't a so-called holy grail. And control losses are a part of the game. 
And then you start to accept an inevitable thing. You are able to focus on other things. You won't spend as much time in front of the screens. It is not worth to spend hours and hours and hours and hours in front of the screen at the end if you make if you made uh, if you cannot make money in that way once you thought you can make it you start to switch your focus from getting money to sticking your rules and making duplicable trades that should be in your focus not more not money you accept the results of your trades as long as you stick to your rules. That's your focus right now. You change your, tra your trading time frames to higher time frames in Forex, maybe four hours or daily chart or hourly chart. Maybe it's okay, it's fine because you realize you can make more money in higher time frames without spending so much money, uh, so much time in front of the charts. Believe me, I make this experience since years right now. It's lovely. It's stunning if I spend less time and I get huge results over one year, two years, not one day, one once. So honestly, it's just a little bit more time. The moment you change your mindset, oh, when you have your first experience in this type of trading, believe me, and once of our listeners today made such experience already, then you will see that you will come closer to your life goals and you will feel more fulfilled in your life. The moment you change your mindset and you realize the most important things in your life is the moment you will find answers to the questions we asked earlier. Let me give you one question. What is more worthful? A view in the eyes of your kiddies or your wife and you can see gratefulness, you can see happiness, you can see love or it is the result of a trade. What is more worth for you, worthful for you? What? Think about that question, please. If you are more experienced at Forex trading, you have more insights into the real trading, into the real meaning of trading than a pure beginner. A pure beginner is more focused on money. You felt the pain of losses already and you realize that trading means so much more than opening an account and start to trade. You've already realized that you must change your mind and yourself to become a successful Forex trader. And at this stage of your trading career, you should go back to your business plan. Start to figure out what you really want in your life and what you're really trying to achieve with trading. Write it down, go back to the business plan. Create your own vision of success based on your first experience in trading. Please note this sentence. As long as your why is strong enough, you will find a way for the how. But first, you must figure out your vision of success and your real why. Second one, if you are an absolute beginner in Forex trading and you want to become a successful trader, you should view Forex trading like a new job and you have to learn from the bottom up. Never believe the marketing. Please don't do it. Never believe advertising in this industry. Trading is not as easy as they want to make you believe. It is not. Otherwise, we, don't, we wouldn't have this huge number of failed accounts. What can you do to learn? Watch videos, read articles, and attend webinars as much as you can, especially our Trading Spotlight webinars here at Admiral Markets. And if you don't want to waste too much time of your life, you should think about getting a coach your personal coach, which will bring you on track. Believe me, yes, it costs money, but you will save a lot of lifetime. Because if you have your own personal coach, like in training in fitness or something else, you are in focus and the coach is care for you, only for you. And you can become successful very, very fast, not over years and years and years to try uh, you try to do it for yourself. 
Create your own vision for success. There are some steps. Start with a trading plan, with a business plan. Make sure you know why, the real why, not money. The happy eyes of your wife or your kids, that's the real why, for example. Make sure you know your life and spiritual goals, inner freedom, freedom, real freedom. Take your part and family with you on this journey. Don't be rude to them if you make losses in trading. They are not responsible for your losses. Take your partner with you on this journey. I give you the advice, do it. Otherwise, you will have a lot of problems with your family. Imagine if you had the chance, the chance to make money by trading Forex full-time. What would you do with your money? What would you do with that? Are you aware that you only have this one life? This one life and time is ticking and never come back? Are you aware of that? Imagine the end of your life in your mind and then look back on the life you lived. How would you answer the question, was it worth to do what you do right now? Are you happy with the life you lived? I know it's a little bit strange for you, this topics, but believe me, that's the real foundation of every kind of trading success. Becoming a successful Forex trader means so much more than deposit money on your account and, opinion, and opening some trades based on your own opinion. You must have a trading plan that's, that's clear, but there was a reason I've talked about the spiritual side of trading first. Both things are important. The technical side and the spiritual questions. But you will have the most successful strategy if at the end you must accept that you can do everything correctly, but you will have losses. No chance. You will have losses. And to accept that point, only this one point, you need to have the answers to the mentioned question in the previous slides. Why are you here? What's the purpose of your existence? What do you want to achieve with your trading? Find the answers to these questions. Then you are on track. Let's make a short conclusion. Again, what was your vision of success when you started? Trading, more respect. Getting the hero, being the hero, the star. Did you change your vision of success after a while, after you realized it's not so easy as they want to make us believe. Did you realize that trading can lead you to question about your life goals and spirituality? Why do you trade at all? Why did you start it at all? How should trading affect your life goals? No matter if you are a beginner in Forex trading or not, please create your own vision of success based on your experiences or such guys that are successful already, ask other questions and you will get an answer. Thanks for your lifetime, guys. Join us in our Trading Spotlight community. If you have more questions about this special topic, ask me. I'm daily around in this Trading Spotlight community, tradersyard.com. Join our group 312 Trading Spotlight and you will find every answer you ever have. And on Friday, my wonderful congenial partner, Jens, will continue with harmonic patterns in price action, including what are harmonic patterns, examples, and how to use these in your trading. Friday, the 14th of February, 2 p.m. And the only point I have to say right now, thank you. Thank you for a lifetime. Thank you for Admiral Markets, this wonderful partner we can make this webinar with. And thank you for you and your lifetime that you spend the last almost 50 minutes with me. And I hope you learned a little bit. If you have questions, contact us. And with this in your mind, please be careful about your thoughts because they're the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.